Ragang is a site traditionally considered as the location of the original home of the ancestors of the Kadazan Dusun natives who inhabit most of northern Borneo. The site, nearby a village named Tampias, is located at the intersection of the left Liwagu Kojabangan and right Liwagu Kawananan, branches of the Liwagu River to the east of Ranau and Tambunan in Sabah. The two river branches joined up to flow into the Labak River and drain out into the Sulu Sea. At the site, and under a giant banyan tree, a settlement referred to as Nunik Ragang was founded. The giant banyan tree was said to be able to give shade to a longhouse sheltering ten families in it. The legend about Nunik Ragang had been passed down via oral traditions to the younger generations. No archaeological dig has been carried out to establish the veracity of the legend. In 2004, the Quasi government group Kadazan Dusun Cultural Association KDCA, set up a memorial near Tampias at the site of what they believe to be the original village. The word Tampias means sprinkled or dispersed. The memorial was built in the form of a huge fig tree. The association conducts annual pilgrimages to the site, time to coincide with the inauguration of its paramount chief, the Huguen Siu. The name Nunik Ragang is derived from two Kadazan Dusun words, Nunik, which refers to the banyan, tree and Ragang, which is a shortened form of the word, Aragang, which means, red-colored. The two words together therefore refer to a red-colored banyan tree. Zoologically, there is no known banyan tree with red leaves or trunk. This fact has contributed to the mystery surrounding Nunik Ragang but the most logical reason for naming the settlement as Red Banyan, is that the settlers, in their attempt to attract attention to their presence, intentionally made the Banyan tree to appear red. The Kadazan Dusun has a fondness for riddling, giving names to places, things and actions in terms other than the actual. At the Nunik Ragang settlement began the belief system and culture of the Kadazan Dusun. There was no word for religion among the ancient Kadazan Dusun and to them it was just a sort of relationship between the seen and the unseen. Some people would equate this to animism. This belief system centers largely on their livelihood and rituals so as to maintain the balance, order and harmony between themselves and between them and their environment, which consequently provide conditions for bountiful cultivation and harvests and continued existence of the race. At the settlement also began Momalianism, a philosophical system, which when coupled with the belief system, had guided the life of the Kadazan Dusun people up to the present age. Surrounded by thick primary forest teeming in wildlife, nature and nurture became the foundation for the birth and growth of the belief system and cultural heritage of the Kadazan Dusun. Go now.